Welcome back and many thanks for staying with us here on the morning rush. Uh, we are going to be talking about sickle cell, um, a conversation that we started on Friday. But today is the actual day, World Sickle Cell Disease Day. And joining us this morning is Minta Francisca. And uh, she's a nurse and also a patient living with sickle cell. And uh, she will help us understand, you know, how she's been able to go through. I mean, last week we were talking about the fact that growing up, we it was it was assumed or it was we were told that they cannot live to a certain age and yeah. all of that. But yeah, I'm sure that we are demystifying all of that. So we're live on Facebook, so you can watch us live on that. Minta Francisca, Hi. good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. Yeah, you're here on Friday. Yeah, but yeah, but glad that you joined us. Yeah. Growing up, when you heard about the fact that you patients or people were living with sickle cell disease will not be able to live to a certain age. Like, were you frightened about it? Oh, yeah. It was giving me a tough time. Mm. It was very sad that uh, a human being would be having a lifespan that... It was very uh, weird. Mm. When I heard about this, um, I think um, it was diagnosed when I was a child. Okay. Mm. Yes. Mm. So when I heard about this, people would be saying that people were saying this girl will not survive, I will die early, sickle cell will kill me, I will not grow and all those mm. stuff. It was weird. It was, really, it was weird. Mm. But um, if only you take good care of yourself, you protect yourself. Mm. Although scientists have discovered uh, mm. this thing, uh, life span is pregnancy yeah. and all those stuff. But if you do take care of yourself very, very well, I don't think you, you would die early. Yeah, and we, thank, we thank God for your life. That, that, I mean, you're still alive. And then I was coming to that, that um, how did you do it? I mean, you said you were diagnosed when you were very young, so I'm sure yes. that your very young age, your adult age. Yeah, at what age, though, were you diagnosed? Um, I think when I was about nine months or so. Nine, nine months. months. Okay. So, I mean, through all of that, I'm sure your parents... We're dealing with it growing up, you were told about it, so you were told what to be doing and what not to be doing. Share with us some of them and how, you know, this miracle of you, friends, can be here with us. Okay, so um, sickle cell disease is very real. And then um, if you, as I said earlier, if you do, if you follow the triggering factor, mm. if you know how to prevent it, mm -hmm. like, um, let me say that um, if you... I'm sorry, I'm no, really, no, no, sorry. I'm really oh. emotional about this. Yeah, we, 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 could, we, we, we could skip it if we could skip it. Um, I, I can say it. Okay, with the triggering factor, if you want to live well as a sickle cell patient, mm -hmm. you have to learn how to prevent yourself from exposing to the weather, I mean mm -hmm. the cold. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have to prevent yourself from infections. Okay. Yes, and then you have to eat food. I mean, I mean prevent yourself from food which contain fatty mm -hmm. or fat, let me say that. And then you have to always stay hydrated. Yes, you have to always stay hydrated. Drink a whole lot of water, at least. If you can take four liters of water every day, it will help you very, very, very well. And then during cold weather, you need to take, um, we have something called hot water bottle. Mm -hmm. Yes, so if you are feeling cold, uh, just... Um, 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 what do you say? It's uh, just boiled water and then mm. put it inside mm. the hot water bottle mm. and then just place it at the, at your side. On your side. Just, okay. Yes. And then what? To feel warm. Yes. Yeah. And then what? Sleep. And then you have to always wear something that will cover yourself cover. very well. Mm. And if you can follow this instruction, I think you you will live well. And then take your medications on time. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But but. It's, it's very difficult. Growing up, you realize your human system is different from every other one. Yes. Your friends are able to go out and play, but you are not able to go out and play. So even in school, how was it where teachers told of your condition that you were supposed to maybe receive certain privileges? Because mm. at times in school, even some of us, I am, I am mathematic. So in school, even if I uh, need something, certain privileges will be given to me, but others will not get. But in your case, how was it? Did you go to the boarding house? Uh, were you a day student? And what were some of the things that were done to favor your condition? Mm. Okay, so um, as I'm talking to you right now, um, I am in a hostel. Okay. okay. So my hostel mistress knew about this condition. Mm -hmm. 
So she will always, I mean, um, arrange uh, hot water for us in the morning. Mm -hmm. okay. And then if our uh, medication gets finished, she will just um, go and buy some, or let me say, provide us with mm -hmm. some of our medication. And then as for school, or let me say the tutors, they don't know much about my condition. Okay, okay. Yes, they don't know much about my condition. They treat us mm -hmm. equally, yeah. or they treat me equally. When I was SHS, SHS if yeah. um, we are about to beat all of us, they will beat me as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, but the little challenge I had um, when I was way back SHS mm -hmm. is that um, there was a lot of absenteeism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, because mm -hmm. of uh, repeated hospitalization and okay. all those stuff. Okay. Yes, there was a lot of absenteeism mm -hmm. and then it affected my grades. Yeah. Yes, it does. It really affected. And then with my friends, let me say socially, mm -hmm. because of my condition, um, many people thought that I would die early, so they didn't want to associate they distance themselves, themselves from you. Exactly, yeah. so they didn't want to associate themselves with me. From you. Yes, and I quite remember um, when I was, uh, let me say my current stage, um, nursing training. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, one, um, I think um, one hostel prefect, she knew about my condition, mm -hmm. so one day, I think our hostel, we have about four or five um, sickle cell okay. patients mm -hmm. over there. Uh -huh. So she called us and then she was advising us that uh, Francisca, and I don't want to mention my others, friends, yeah. yes. Um, and then she told us that, do you know that you die early? Really? We said, wow, you die early. Me, I have a friend who is a sickle cell patient. She died early. So I'm advising you, if you have something to do, do it today because you will die. What? That was it's not funny, but that is me. ridiculous. That was what she told me. That and did you did you solicit for her opinion or anything? No, she was just uh, because she was my senior. Okay. And then I thought uh, I think she uh, they they told them or they were oh, they, they, they know they knew yes. Let me say that the condition. Yeah, the condition so yeah. yes, she was advising me that. Do I know that or do we know that we die early? Okay. And then, so if we have something to do, we should do it, we should now. Do it now. That is horrible. That's ridiculous. That is, that is like horrible and to do. Yeah. But, but I also but, want but that's okay. before you come in. Before then and now, education wise, do you think people have been um, educated well, mm. sensitized enough yes. to understand that you can live with sickle cell, but not necessarily? Die early. Have you seen the difference over the years? I, I seen how people have come to know that this and this and this is, is, the, is the the truth about the disease. Hmm. Yes, I've learned a whole lot about the cause, mm. but I don't think many of us know much about, about the it. condition. Mm. That is why we need to emphasize, or let me say, we need to teach people about this sickness or disease that if you have sickle cell, that doesn't mean that you have a uh, prognosis or mm -hmm. or you will die yeah so we have to get a fair knowledge about this our uh, condition mm -hmm. because many people doesn't know yeah. or they don't know they don't anything know. about mm -hmm. it yeah yes okay so let me delve into your family we'll be wrapping up in a bit um so you've got other siblings yes i i am having three siblings do they all have your condition no they are all carriers okay. when i say career um, yes, they inherited a faulty, let me say, a normal hemoglobin yeah. from the other parent, and then they inherit a faulty one from the other, the other part. Yes, yeah. so they are all normal. They yeah. don't show any symptoms and all those stuff. Yeah. I'm the only one. You just carry the two, the yes, SS. The SS okay. that's, that's crazy. I, I could imagine how you so feel about it. So that's on the screen. Yeah. yeah. So we have the, the genotype partner. I think if... <laughs> This is this, this so this is this, this is quite have you so you know about this yes. you, you've gone through all that yes. so that's the medical genotype chart table yeah. for intending couples as last week we said it's not only about I love you <laughs> I love you so let's let's <laughs> let's, let's, let's marry, marry you know no. so you have uh, the partner X and yeah. Y so let's so say let's male say and female male and female yeah. if Desi is AA and I'm AA we can marry yes. okay AA if this one is AA and I'm AS 
we can marry. Okay. If this one is AS, I'm AS. We no. can't so get married. So there are two SS. No. Two Because mm. there can be a likelihood, a possibility that, that our children, yes, we'll one can a, get the, the SS. Okay. Yes. okay. So if this one is SS and I'm AA, we can marry. Because, wow, that's interesting. Because you can but but it can still trigger for a kid or... Because <laughs> there's, yeah, there's, there's AS, AS, AS. They can marry, but... Okay. Yes, uh, there's a possibility that you give birth to a second. Okay. Yes. okay. 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 So you see, there's a SS and an AA. Mm -hmm. I think you can. They said you yes, can marry because you can provide the S. I can provide yeah, the A. True. That's fine. And also, there's a S S S S is totally no, no. is a no good area. You shouldn't even try. It. Yeah. <laughs> and also AS and SC. SC. You Remember can't. last week yeah. when uh, our other guest was there? Yeah. She said a lot of us do not know the C part. Yes. Yes. So the C part yes. is also very important, also and there's A S C C. Yeah. Do not go there. Don't go there. And there's A A S C. You can marry A A C C. And so, I mean, basically, we are saying that if you want to get into um, marriage or anything like that, you need to go and go for the checkups. It's not just about the uh, HIV test, wine test. <laughs> this is also part, yeah. so that you do not. Use your pleasure to disturb someone who doesn't know. It. I mean, I'm just saying, yeah. you know, because yeah. because when you hear stories like this, it's it is very disheartening. Yeah. And yeah. in a family that you have other siblings who do not have the same yeah. sickness, and it's yeah. just you, you, you really feel you know left out. And yeah. like I said uh, last yes. week, my auntie also had. She lived till 47. She gave birth, but then the child died. But she died at 47. In the beginning, I mean, we were all kids. We yes. were told she wasn't going to live for long. I, I realize she gets to 25, 30, she's still mm, living, yeah. 35, still living, 40, yeah. and then 47. That is why eventually. I said if you do protect yourself, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You, you won't be, die. Yeah. Yes, but how does. often do you take blood tonic? Well, and what type of blood tonics do you take? Because <laughs> I think there are different types. Yes, we have I might take type. Minamino, but I don't think you take Minamino. You can take, but you need something more... Something that, that, that yeah. boosted more. Yes. Okay. Um, anyway, so the theme for this year as well, Sickle Cell Day, is building and strengthening global sickle cell communities, mm -hmm. formalizing newborn screening, and knowing your sickle cell disease status. Yeah, so I was going to be, this, this intends to focus on newborns. Yeah. So that they, even if they are, they, they are careers, yes, there will be ways to, you know, um, help them out even at that young age and also know your sickle cell status yeah. i know mine but no i think last <laughs> week the, 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 the yeah. lady who was here mentioned yeah. that um normally when we go and check mm. they will tell us it's positive yeah but now you can do a test that can actually give you the specific genotype yes. as in if you are a a a so we have to go and check again yeah. yes. so we have to true, when, true. when are we going we'll, 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 we'll find some we'll yeah. find time and go do that so francisca just before we wrap up what do you want to say and what are you also doing in your own bit as a survivor, yeah. um, as a patient to, you know, um, educate other people who do not also have the, the old idea of the sickle cell disease? Okay, so I, I mean, Ta Francisca, let me say that I just want to be a math piece, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes, to create an awareness for all sickle cell what, patients mm -hmm. and then advocate for people living with sickle cell. Let me tell you that anybody watching me this day, let me say this. We are warriors. We were, mm. we were born with a specific task. Mm. Yes, we were born to fight. We were born to cry. Let me say we were born to scream. Mm. So please, all you have to do, this thing is part of us. Mm -hmm. And there's no way, or let me say, yes, you die with it. Mm -hmm. Unless you do, we have um, a procedure called uh, stem cell or a bone mm, marrow yeah. transplant. So if you want to be cured, that is what I know for now. Mm. Yes, but other than that, you are living with it. Yeah. Mm. So you have to fight very, very, very well mm. for your life because your, your life is in your hands. Yeah. Mm. Yes, and then God is in control. Yeah. Yes. And Rester, then how old are you? <laughs> I'm 23 years old. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's, that's good. That's All good. Right. Anyways, um, thank you very much, Francis. Yeah. Minta Francisca. Yeah. Let, me, let, me, let me just give you a, a 10 seconds to give shouts to your, your school people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I see, I see already. Yeah, they're, sure they're, they're, watching. They're, they're watching us this morning. Just say something before we go. Okay, so 
Um, okay. So I, friends. Okay, I'm greeting all ADNC TV students. Mm -hmm. I love you all, and then I do appreciate the kind of love you've shown mm. me so far. I do love you, and then I extend my greetings to my principal as well. Okay. Yes, and then my mother, who has been a supportive yeah. all this while. Mm. I remember any time on I, I am on a sick bed, I will be seeing her lying on the floor, the floor, or let me say a floor where people will be spitting, vomiting, and all those stuff. Um, the, my mother will be lying on the floor, caring for me. I really love her so, so, so much. Mm -hmm. May God extend um, her life for me. Amen. 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 Oh, my <laughs> okay. That's such an inspiring story this Monday morning. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> on a Monday morning, it's such yeah. inspiration. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good one. It's yeah. a good one.